I want to be very open with you. As a Christian, I am ashamed that the name of Christ has been associated with violence and war. Because those who fight in the name of Christ, far from obeying him, are disobeying his explicit commands. He forbade the use of physical violence to protect him or to further his message. As he said to the Pilate, I have come to wear, bear witness to the truth. Truth, religious or secular, ladies and gentlemen, cannot be imposed by force. After all, it was Christ who said, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God and which the separation between church and state is based. Um, small correction, uh, Jesus of Nazareth said he came not to bring peace but a sword. And there's every evidence that he and his disciples meant by that what any person would have assumed they were meant to uh, mean from it, take from it. I think this could be the start of a very interesting conversation. Jesus didn't come to bring peace but a sword. That's absolutely right. And the sword was a division in those who were prepared to accept him and trust him and those who would reject him. The fact that he didn't mean a physical sword is perfectly clear from the occasion when his disciples took swords to defend him. And he said, put your swords away. People that live by the sword will perish by the sword. He didn't resist arrest. Pilate knew that. And the turning point in the conversation with Pilate, because Pilate was extremely concerned, was this a political revolutionary, a man of violence? And Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world, either because if it were, my servants would have been fighting. And Pilate publicly exonerated him from the charge. So it seems to me that it's very clear what Jesus meant by that. 